Good day, my fantastic grade 6 scientists. I hope that you are doing well and keeping safe. I really hope you are having a blast during this adventurous online teaching. Just know I miss you all a lot. Now, I hope you have fun today. Let's get started. Grade 6s. So we've been learning about mixtures of materials. Now in yesterday's lesson you learned about the mixtures of solid substances and you saw that when you mix different solids together to make a mixture you can separate them and see the difference between both solids. Now today we are going to have a closer look at mixtures of solid and liquid substances. So we can mix substances that are in different states of matter such as when we mix a solid with a liquid. Now when we mix cool drink powder which is a solid with water which is a liquid we cannot see the substance anymore. It has now become a solution. So we mixed both substances a solid and a liquid. It changed into a different substance which is now called a solution. So a solution is a mixture in which we cannot identify the different substances. An example of this could be coffee, as you took a solid coffee powder and you put it into warm water, it became a different solution. Another example of this could be, let's say you took Milo and you put three scoops of Milo, which is your solid, and you took milk, which is your liquid, you stirred it together, it would then become a different solution. Great success, we will now be doing an experiment. We are still on the topic, mixture of solid and liquid substances. We are going to conduct an investigation about mixing solids and liquids. This experiment is on activity three, page 64 to 65. So let's have a look. But now wait. If you would like to do the experiment at home, you are more than welcome to. But just remember, if you do not have all the things you need, you don't have to, as I will be doing the experiment for you. Let's get started. Now, for this experiment, we will need four jars. In jar one, I have a hundred moles of tap water. In jar 2 I have 100 moles of tap water. In jar 3 I have 100 moles of tap water and in jar 4 I have 100 moles of milk. The rest of the ingredients you need for this experiment will be a teaspoon of chalk, a teaspoon of sand, a teaspoon of curry powder and a teaspoon of cheese. You will also obviously need a teaspoon. So let's get started grade sixes. Now what we are going to do in the first jar I'll be taking a spoonful of sand. So all you need to do is take one big spoonful of sand and put it in jar one. I want you to see what happened. All I did was put the spoonful of sand into the jar and left it. Can you see grade sixes that the sand went straight to the bottom and it has settled? Let's leave this for a moment and go to the next one. In the next jar I will be putting a teaspoon of chalk. Let's see what happens. So now in jar two grade sixes you can see we have a teaspoon of chalk inside of the jar. Now if you can look clearly it is floating at the top and some of it is settling. Let's move to the next jar. In the next jar I will be putting a teaspoon of curry powder. There it goes. Now you have seen I haven't stirred the mixture so let's see what's happening. In this jar we have a teaspoon of curry powder and the curry powder is also settling and mixing 
with a tap water. Now in the last jar, I'll be putting a teaspoon of cheese, but this time I'll be putting it in the milk. Here goes our teaspoon of cheese. I think Mam's going to put in just a little more as I couldn't get a proper teaspoon. Now grade sixes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to stir each mixture. But before I do that, can anyone see the cheese in the milk? Hmm. Now from my side I can, but I'm not sure if you guys can. So let's get started. What you need to do now, you need to stir each mixture. And then what we're going to do, grade six, is we are going to leave it for two minutes. Yes, we will have to leave it for two minutes in order to observe what is happening in each substance. Now remember, grade six, is we have mixed four different solids in the different liquids. Let's go. Here yeah, I'm mixing the sand grade sixes. I want you to have a look at what it looks like. Please observe carefully. Okay, I've stirred it very nicely. That is glass one. In glass two, the next one. Oh, this one is a little bit hard grade sixes, but here I go. Okay, I want you to observe grade sixes. Now, a little bit of the substance is sitting at the bottom, but let's leave and see. Now I'll be taking the next one and stirring it. And the last one with the cheese. And now, grade sixes, we will be waiting for two minutes. So, let's observe carefully and see what happens. But grade sixes, we need to be careful now. As when you observe, this is important that when you are observing an experiment, that you do not touch, you do not look, and you do not mix. You now have to use your eyes to watch and let everything either settle or float or see what happens. So now we're going to observe and see has a color changed happened? Have we got a new substance? Or did nothing happen? So let's wait and see. Hmm. What's important? For you to understand grade sixes is that we took solid substances we had four different solid substances and we had water as a liquid and milk as a liquid so what I want you to observe in these mixtures is what was the solid substance in the first glass it was sand and water what was the solid substance in the second jar or glass it was chalk and water was the liquid. When we go to the next one, glass three, we now look what was the solid substance, the curry powder, what was the liquid water. And then in the last one, what was the liquid in the fourth glass, milk, and what was the solid cheese. So now we have our solids and our liquids. Now, what happened to the solid and what happened to the liquid? Can we see the liquid? Can we see the, water, the, the solid? Or did it become a different mixture or a new solution? So I'm going to pick up this one carefully, grade sixes, and I hope that you're going to be able to see. But if you look really carefully, I'll bring it as close as ma'am can, it has settled. So the solid has gone to the bottom. So at the top, we can see there is the liquid. I hope you can see. And the solid is sitting at 
the bottom. I want you to observe it, grade sixes. Now, the solid in jar one was sand and the liquid is water. What happened to the solid? The solid mixed and changed the water and the solid settled to the bottom of the jaw. What happened to the liquid? The liquid changed color. So is it a different substance? Well, yes. Because grade six is, if I drink this, do you think it's going to taste like normal tap water? No, it's going to taste awful, is it not? So that one is glass one. Then we move to the second one, the chalk and the water. Can you see grade sixes when it, it didn't settle? So now, can you see the solid? No. Can you see a liquid? Yes. But what happened? The solid changed the way the substance looks. So the solid and the liquid came together and it has become a new solution. Now let's look at the curry powder and the water. So if we see here, at the bottom, the curry powder has settled. So it has changed the liquid. Now I can see the solid, but I don't think you're going to see it on the camera. So what happened here? The solid changed and the liquid changed. Okay. The liquid changed color and the solid settled. So can you see the solid? Now I can see the solid. If you look like that, maybe you guys will see it. There you go. But can we see a liquid? Yes. Please make sure you describe what you see in your book. And the last one, if you look at the milk and the cheese, what happened to the solid? The solid settled on the bottom and the liquid stayed the same. Can you see the liquid? Yes. Can you see the solid? Yes. Please describe this mixture in your book. Now, grade sixes, I hope that you enjoyed this experiment and you learned something different. I would please like you to complete the activity by answering the questions and drawing the table. Make sure you do this throughout the experiment and take notes so that, hello, you remember what you learned. Grade sixes, I hope that you enjoyed that experiment and that you learned something new. Now remember, that experiment was about mixing solids and liquids and how some substances mix completely and it absorbs the solid and others, the solid disappears or settles on the bottom of the glass. Now wait, pay attention. Please make sure that you complete activity 3 on page 64 and 65. As well as, please, if you do this experiment at home with your family, send me some pictures as I would love to see if you get it or are able to do it. Now remember, if you do not have the natural science textbook, please go look on Google Classroom as I have uploaded a scanned version of these activities. Thank you for attending this wonderful online class. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me on the WhatsApp group, Google Classroom, or any other way you can get hold of me. Just know I miss you all very much. Stay safe.